The Scott Road Interchange Project has been in the works for more than 10 years. It's long overdue for our community. And we appreciate the agency partners that we have that have helped us to bring this project to where we're having a groundbreaking today. And some of those partners are County of Riverside, Riverside County Transportation Commission, WRCOP, Caltrans, have all come together to make this project happen. Thank you. It's definitely a proud moment in Menifee today as we celebrate the start of this $57.8 million project. We anticipate it's going to be about 18 months of construction. Hopefully a little sooner. But. The Scott Road Interchange Project will provide easier access and improve traffic flow on the I-215 freeway and east and west through the Scott Road. It will relieve congestion, which many of you here today know about. We'll do this by building a new southbound loop on ramp and a northbound loop off ramp to address freeway access during commute times. The existing on and off ramps will be widened to improve traffic flow. The project will also widen Scott Road from Honda Antelope Roads and build a new wider six lane bridge across the freeway. The improved freeway access combined with the winding of Scott Road will reduce traffic congestion during commute times greatly. This has truly been a collaborative regional effort. Many people and multiple agencies have played a huge role in getting us to this point today. And again, I want to thank them for being here today to celebrate with us. Now, if you would, please help me to welcome Menifee's mayor. Bill Zimmerman. Well, thank you, Jonathan. Uh, you know, it's just a real honor and a pleasure to be here this morning. Um, this is a, a very exciting day for all of us. It's a very historic day. And, um, you know, Menifee's been a city for 10 years. And so I think about, you know, our 10-year birthday and what a great present this is. Uh, 18 months from now, it'll be a tremendous present when it's done. We've experienced uh, uh, wonderful mobility uh, improvements from Newport Road when it was completed last year. And uh, isn't that a pleasure now to be able to, to use that uh, interchange at Newport Road? And Scott Road is going to be the same. It's going to be just as, as um, uh, um much of an improvement um, as Newport Road is. So anyway, I'm very excited about that. Um, a lot of you may know Menifee is one of the fastest growing uh, cities <clears throat> in Southern California. It's the third fastest growing city in Riverside County. So when you think about growth and how many vehicles are going to be on the road with all the new homes that are coming, we need to have our infrastructure in place to be able to handle all of that growth that's coming. And so what we're doing today is exactly that. We're listening to uh, the people out there that are concerned and they're cautious and they're saying, gosh, Menifee's changing. We've got a whole new face and, and there's so much more going on here. But we're being responsible and we're making sure that we're uh, keeping those concerns in mind. Um, we have long-term capital improvement program here in Menifee. We call it Menifee Moving. And it identifies 168 projects and seven major infrastructure projects, this being one of them. So um, Newport, Newport Road Interchange helped us tremendously, and uh, we're just anxious and excited to replicate uh, that success right here on the Scott Road corridor. Uh, I live right on the other side of the freeway right here, so, um, and my daughter went to school here and was raised here. Unfortunately, this elementary school and the high school are on this side of the freeway. So my wife and I are used to the growing pains, used to crossing over the bridge to take her to school and to pick her up afterwards. So I'm thinking about all of the families that are coming here um, and how this will really improve their quality of life as they're doing that crossover and the mobility from one side of the freeway to the other. So I'm excited about that. Um, with this 
um, in mind, it's kind of a regional thing. If we were to stop and ask all of these cars that are crossing over this freeway interchange, where are you coming from? I would say a majority of them would not even say I, we live here in Menifee. A lot of them are coming from Winchester um, community or from um, areas to the east like Hemet and San Jacinto and they're trying to access the 215 freeway and this is kind of the, uh, the preferred route. So it's not just a Menifee thing, it is a regional thing and so I want to thank um, the partners that we have on this project. I'm thinking specifically of the County of Riverside, uh, Riverside County Transportation Department. Um, I know Juan Perez is here and I see my friend Susan Bombayer over there, she's an engineer, has been working on this. So um, they're a great partner, Caltrans is our other partner on this. RCTC is um, another great partner, John Stanford's here this morning to speak as well, and also WRCOG, you know, Menifee participates with WRCOG in the program where TUMP funds are collected, and those are the rooftops, and Menifee's generating those rooftops, and that's where the money is being collected and then brought back to the city, so we're at the table, um, our councilman John Denver is our uh, WRCOG representative, and so we appreciate uh, him for articulating the need for this uh, here in Menifee, so we want to thank him for that. And finally, our last partner is the city of Murrieta. <clears throat> they do own uh, or um, have the, it within their purview that corner on the other side. So uh, one quarter of this interchange is Murrieta, so we appreciate their partnership on this. Um, but the biggest thank you I want to give this morning is to our taxpayers, um, the voters, and we certainly appreciate the voters who passed Measure DD uh, last year that helped us to be able to have the funds. There was a great big funding gap for this project, and I just mentioned where the money's coming from, but a big portion of it is coming from Menifee, and it's coming from Menifee's taxpayers. So thank you, thank you, thank you to all of those taxpayers who, who passed Measure DD. Uh, we are beyond thrilled about the building of this important project, and this morning, uh, I want to thank all of you guys for joining us here this morning for this great celebration. Looking forward to, you know, they say 18 months. I'm hoping for good weather, and I'm shooting for 16 months. <laughs> Come on, we can do it. Anyway, thank you very much, everybody, and, and enjoy your morning. Thank you, this morning. I apologize, Juan and Patty. I'm going off the list here, and... I'd like to recognize the fact that you guys are here and appreciate it very much. <laughs> now I'd like to introduce Council Member Leesmeyer, District 2, City of Menifee. Well, thank you. Good morning. What, a, what an exciting day. I don't, I don't know if there's anybody here that's more excited than I am. Lisa and Bill. <laughs> um, I am the council member for this district, District 2, on this side of the freeway. Generally speaking, it's on uh, the west side of the 15, uh, 215 and south of Newport, all the way out to Quail Valley. Um, I've, I've been involved with this project in one fashion or another for nearly, uh, nearly 13 years. Um, in 2005, I was working for a developer south of this area as an uh, office manager for the a civil engineering company. We did some construction plans for them. and. Uh, I transitioned from that role into being a planning commissioner when we incorporated and um, we approved a whole host of projects that are still sitting on the shelf ready to go right here across the street uh, but there's one developer that had uh, had the foresight and I want to especially thank him and thank him for being here today and, and opening up his property uh, Teddy Hamui with Minifee Partners where are you at back here in the back so Teddy thank you um, you know, with, with developers like Teddy, um, Pac-10 Partners, we got the, the junction across the street. We've, we've been able to capture a lot of money to help build this infrastructure. Um, and it's, it's really exciting to finally see this coming to fruition because there's a lot of opportunity here. And I'm really excited for the economic potential that's just waiting to be opened up here. Um, a little story that I want to share with everybody about, about how we got here today, and it's it's to me personally, it's it's kind of funny because I, ha I have an older brother who's about 10 years older than I am, and we always used to butt heads, and he always, always used to beat me up. Um, but down today, he's a he's a very successful civil engineer working for a, a very successful freeway contractor, 
who's managing a project north of us here. And he was driving through and he said, you know, what is it going to take to get you guys to build that bridge and go forward? And uh, he said, you know, Matt, give me the plans. I want to take a look at it and maybe I can come up with an idea that might help. And I said, okay, fine. So we, I, I asked Jonathan to, to pull out some plans and, and he got a couple sheets for me. We talked about it and he says, well, why are you building such a big bridge? This thing is huge. I think at the end of the day, it's supposed to be like 10 lanes. And um, I said, well, that's, you know, that's what was in the plan back in the day for the ultimate build out of the area. There's a lot of projects and a lot of capacity in the future that's supposed to come through here. But right now, our biggest challenge is some of the right of way on, on the Murrieta side where Carl's Jr. and there's a gas station over there and, and how to get that all folded into the mix. We, we just can't do it. It's, it's, too, it's, it's too much work. He says, well, why don't you just move the bridge a little bit to the north and, and just do the north side? You, you get enough lanes through there and you can get something going. And I said, okay, fine, I, I, I get it. So um, arguing with him a little bit, I, I reluctantly sat down with our city manager uh, at the time a couple of years ago and Jonathan and we talked about the idea and they all kind of agreed. So yeah, this is an interesting idea. Um, from there, he, I think our city manager took it to Juan and Patty and, and probably up to Director Belinsky, and they, they talked about it, and I think that's where we are today. And, and so, you know, I, I hate to say I, because um, it's not about me, it's about the city, but, you know, you never know where good ideas are going to come from. And reluctantly, I reached out to my brother, who always used to beat me up when I was a kid, and asked him for help. And, you know, so, so, so with that, you know, you never know where good ideas are going to come from. So, you know, don't be afraid to always use your resources. Um, so with that, I'm going to turn it back over to Jonathan, but just such an exciting day for a minute to me. I'm so proud. Thank you, Councilmember. Well said. I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce Mayor Pro Tem Lisa Sobek and bring her up to the podium for a few words. Uh, Councilwoman is District 3 Councilmember. Thank you, Jonathan. This morning, um, this morning was one of those Christmas mornings. It's one of those mornings you wake up and you're just so excited. I'm so excited about this interchange and what it's going to do for our area. And I know that a lot of VIPs were, were mentioned, but I was sitting up here and I'm looking out, all of you that are here today, we have business people, we have residents who are VIPs, we have our police and fire and I see our planning, some of our planning commissioners here, our public works, and I just wanna just let you know, you're all VIPs in my heart. So I just wanna thank you, how thrilling it is to be part of this event today. And as it was mentioned, I'm Council Member Sobek, I represent District 3, which is on the east side, from Han over, the middle, middle of Han over that way. And I just want to, um, I lost my place here in my notes, sorry, I messed up. <laughs> Residents and business owners in our district may have, have been discussing and anticipating the Scott Road interchange project for years, as you heard from Matt, because it's a critical east-west correct um, corridor for our community. You, you likely experienced the frustration of traveling through the area to get here this morning but the great news is we have a solution. We are finding it and we are fixing it. After today, we will finally be done talking about it and ready to build it. The new interchange will greatly improve the quality of life for our residents, which I am very excited about in our districts and on both sides of the freeway by improving commute times, accessibility to schools, churches, parks, and the shopping centers. The region commuters will also really benefit from this capital improvement project, making it easier for folks to get to and from work, leaving more time to spend with their families. The area business owners like, are like our friends right here in the shops at Scott are eagerly anticipating the completion of this project. Even the first major traffic movement when the six lane bridge opens at the end of stage one, will improve access to their businesses. Cheer, Teddy, I wanna hear you cheer. 
As Mayor Zimmerman explained, Menifee is committed to improving our infrastructure so our residents, visitors, shops, businesses, owners, employees, and even those just passing through can more accessibly can more easily access and get around our city. As a city, we're thrilled to follow through on our commitment to improve infrastructure as we embark on this major construction project that will really open up traffic circulation in the Scott Road corridor. Thank you to our project partners and to you for helping us celebrate this exciting new chapter in Menifee's history. Have a great day. Thank you, Mayor Pro Tem. I'd like to introduce 5th District Riverside County Board Supervisor Marion Ashley to say a few words. Thank you. That's a dangerous thing to say to a politician to say a few words. <laughs> now, first of all, I'd like to ask uh, Senator Jeff Stone to join me up here. And I'm going to give my comments, and he may have a few things to say. And uh, Jeff was uh, the county supervisor representing most of Menifee before the city. He's one that built you know, the, the, the great shopping center, the marketplace uh, down in, in Menifee. And he was really concerned about this, and they'll probably have a little story to tell about the early uh, problems we had with this interchange. And also, I want to make an introduction. We have uh, former assemblyman Russ Bogue uh, joined us today. He's out in the audience. Yeah. Where is he? Russ? Thank you. Uh, thank you all for being here to celebrate the beginning of a two-year journey to improve the mobility and connectivity in the Southwest Riverside County region. As a supervisor for the Riverside County District 5 for the past 16 years and as an Eastern Municipal Water District Director representing Menifee for 10 and a half years before that, it's been my pleasure to help drive the growth and vitality of this booming region is making its mark as one of the fastest growing in Southern California. Mayor Zimmerman said earlier that growth provides an opportunity to improve and change. And as we continue to welcome new families to the area and new businesses and stores to the region, the Senate Minifee and the county are taking this opportunity to improve regional traffic circulation to keep up with the demand. That's why this project is so important. With projected 12% regional growth rate over the next 10 years, regional leaders can use the Scott Road Interchange as an example to provide collaboration across agencies to plan and secure funding and work together to move important projects forward. And these, these agencies we're talking about, you heard I mentioned earlier, City of Menifee is the lead agency and the main cog one that's made this all happen, but they've been strongly supported with money and 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 ideas and planning all kinds of other help, mainly funding from WRCOG, RCTC, Riverside County, and Caltrans. And we had some federal money that came through RCTC. So we did get some federal money for this. We got some of our taxpayer money back. And I want to congratulate uh, Mayor Zimmerman and the city of Menifee, which I think, as I said, third fastest growing. I believe that Menifee right now, without a doubt, is a most vibrant and dynamic city in the county. And uh, there's, there might be some others that are close to that, maybe match it, but from my viewpoint, representing it and watching it every day and living here, it's, it's unbelievable how the Menifee's performing. So now you've got to think about your next major infrastructure project. <laughs> already thinking about it, you know. What is it, the Holland Road overpass? You know, punching Ethan Eck Road through over there. There's a, there's a lot of, more to do, and, and, I'll be, and I'm sure all are on that major project list. Now I'd like to turn it over to uh, Senator Stone, former Supervisor Stone, to say a few words. Thank you, Supervisor Ashley. It's uh, really great to be here today to see a lot of, of old friends. Um, I was very proud when I was elected as supervisor in 2004, was sworn in in 2005, representing the unincorporated area of Menifee, and, uh, and fell in love with the area and knew that this area, Menifee, was going to be the next economic powerhouse of Riverside County, and I think you're seeing that happen. And uh, 
we knew that, uh, and Marion uh, subscribes to this uh, philosophy as well, that local control is the best kind of control that you can have. And Menifee's population was growing, their needs were more pronounced, and they needed to become a city. And so, I don't know if many of you know this, but Supervisor Ashley and I took our campaign funds and we paid for the economic study that showed that Menifee could in fact become a city. And uh, that started the incorporation efforts. So, um, I remember as a county supervisor in, in dealing with this bridge where there was no signals, all there was was stop signs, and people were waiting 45 minutes to an hour to get on the freeway. The, at that time was two lanes in each direction, and I had threatened Caltrans if they didn't get to work in making it three lanes, I was gonna urge our county transportation department to actually delineate the emergency lane as a third lane on the 215 freeway, and I got Caltrans' attention. Uh, thank thank uh, Ms. Romo and, and Juan Perez and George Johnson, and they said, okay, supervisor, we got the message. And then we got, as you know, three lanes in each direction on the 215 freeway. But the point was that we put traffic directors there to make sure that we could get people on and off the freeway without waiting an hour. And so that was really the beginning of understanding that the infrastructure here needed to be enhanced. And I want to thank uh, certainly uh, John Standiford, who's here from RCTC, and Rick Bishop from WRCOG. Um, we are a self-help county. What does that mean? Our citizens pay uh, a, a half a cent or a cent in sales tax over the years to augment our ability to provide infrastructure at a time when the state has reduced their investment in our highways and the federal government has been kind of stingy on their money coming to us to build infrastructure. So I want to thank the citizens of all Riverside County for stepping up the plate with Measure A and reauthorizing it to get the money to the RCTC where cities have the reps to bring the money back here to build this kind of infrastructure. And then the citizens of Benefee took it a step further and wanted to help more, and they passed their Measure DD, which uh, allowed for this project to come to fruition. This has been 10 years, 10 years in the planning. So I want to congratulate Mayor Zimmerman and all of the, the, the council members and their staff uh, in working with Caltrans District 8, the County of Riverside, our federal partners, and the, the great leadership of Supervisor Ashley uh, in making this project come to fruition. Today is a great day. Uh, to be a Riverside County and it's a great day to be a citizen of, of Menifee and the citizens are going to appreciate seeing construction and knowing that their tax dollars are truly going to work uh, to enhance the quality of their lives. So thank you very much for allowing me to speak. Thank you. I'd like to introduce uh, David Rector, Rector, Deputy District Director of Inver Environmental Planning, Caltrans District Dave, to say a few words. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, on behalf of Caltrans District 8 and our interim di district director, Janice Benton, I'm very pleased to be here today to celebrate the beginning of the Scott Road Interchange Project, which will improve the lives of those who live, work, and shop here in Menifee, in addition to the traveling public. As others have mentioned, growth in Riverside County is significant, and it will continue. The original Scott Road Interchange was built in the 1970s when the traffic counts were approximately 10,000 vehicles per day. Today's traffic counts are over 100,000 per day, which is a tenfold increase over the last 40 years. This illustrates the important role that Interstate 215 corridor and this new interchange provide for southwestern Riverside County and the traffic circulation in and out of the region. In addition to providing connectivity, the highway system is seeing a marked increase in truck traffic and goods movement along the 215 between Riverside and San Diego counties. We can all agree that our infrastructure system is a critical asset that drives growth, jobs, safety, mobility, trade, and enhanced competitiveness. Californians drive more than 350 billion miles a year, more than any other state and California State Highway System serves a $2.2 trillion economy, an economy that is now the fifth largest in the world. Investment in infrastructure creates tangible assets that are long-lived and facilitates economic activity for many years to come, 
by providing the access to jobs, services, materials, and markets. The new Scott Road Interchange will accommodate not only the daily users, but the goods movement and oversight loads that come through the area. Caltrans is dedicated to our partnership with the City of Menifee and other local agencies as we work longer and together to improve the region's traffic flow and livability. Congratulations to the City of Menifee, and please remember to drive safely when you're on the highway. Thank you very much. Thank you, David. Now I'd like to introduce John Stafford, the de Deputy Director for RCTC, to say a few words, John. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you for having me. RCTC serves as your one of your funding partners to help put a $57 million project together, especially through Measure A, our, our half-cent funding program. Uh, if you check our website, you'll see a tagline on the opening page, Connecting Your Life, and that's what a project like this is all about. Senator Stone talked about the widening of the 215, and it wasn't all that long ago. It was just two lanes in each direction, but uh, RCTC, along with Caltrans, we were able to fund that widening, but it's great to have a first-class freeway, but how does it help you if you have a hard time getting to it or getting off of it? We've already proven what can happen just a few miles down the road with the last interchange that was built. We're going to do it again here. It shows a commitment in a lot of ways in terms of voter approval of your local measure, the approval of Measure A. If you invest in infrastructure, you will definitely get returns. And that's how we connect people together and how we can stay ahead of the growth that does put a lot of strain on our infrastructure. Um, in closing, I want to recognize uh, a few of our commissioners uh, who are part of RCTC. Every city has that voice on our commission to advance projects like this. And um, we have Councilman Benoit from Wildemar, our supervisors Washington and Ashley, our former supervisor Stone, of course, still still has a big influence, but I also want to recognize Mayor Zimmerman, who's our newest RCTC commissioner, a strong voice on behalf of your community. So I just want to say thank you again for all of the work this community, city staff, and everyone has done, because this project will be worth the effort. It's worth the investment. And all I ask is I hope I get an invitation to the ribbon cutting. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Now I'd like to introduce Supervisor Chuck Washington, Riverside County District 3, and Western Riverside Council of Government of Governance Chair. Executive Committee Chair. Chair of the Board. Chair of the Board. Yeah. Thank you and good morning. Um, I see the crowd is thinning, so I want to keep my comments brief. Um, you know, I I know they already got introduced, but I want to reintroduce a couple of folks that I've worked closely with through the years. Um, Council Member Kelly Sayardo, who was elected 21 years ago um, at the age of 12 <laughs> to the Marietta City Council. He and I served two years together on Marietta City Council. And then uh, 15 years ago, I got elected to the Temecula City Council and uh, my colleague Jeff Camachero who's now my chief of staff, um, is, work, is here today as well. Um, looking ahead, um, I didn't foresee all of this occurring um, from down in Marietta and down in Temecula. But that doesn't mean a whole lot because 15 years ago when someone said they're going to put cameras in phones, cell phones, I thought, well, that's the stupidest idea I've ever heard. <laughs> Boy, I should have invested in... Apple stock then. Um, I'm wearing several hats today. I think other people have already spoken for me. Um, I'm the chairman of the Board of Supervisors. I'm the chairman of WR Cog. I'm vice chair of RCTC. Um, I wear all of those hats uh, very proudly and I'm excited for Menifee, what they've contributed to this project. I'm excited to represent WR Cog and the $15 million of time that has gone into this project and I'm excited to represent RCTC as well and the federal dollars um, and local match dollars that have come to this project. It's going to be a great project as the mayor mentioned. It's going to serve the region very well, get people uh, off, off of the roads, onto the, onto the freeway or over the freeway. 
Um, and everyone who is concerned about all the uh, local public safety is represented here. We have the Highway Patrol here. We have our uh, Sheriff's Department deputies represented in the contract city, as well as CAL FIRE. They too are concerned about the improved public safety that this project offers to the region. So I'll be brief in saying thank you for inviting me and congratulations to the city of Menifee and everyone else. Thank you, Supervisor Washington. Thank you, Rick. Thank you. Thank you to all of our speakers today for your continued support of this pro project. I'd like to also recognize DHS Consulting. They are the project's construction ma manager working with Atkins to build this project. So thank you. Now in a moment, uh, you've all been waiting for it. We're going to put you to work. We're going to have you go over here and celebrate the groundbreaking and getting this uh, project started. So please see Gina over there. She'll set up the photo op and let's get it built. Then you would grab the shovel. Now smize.